Here's the Enable Raptor Hand, used as a terminal device on a traditional below elbow prosthesis that was custom made for a child named Wilhay. Wilhay wears the prosthesis with a harness and he can cause the fingers to grasp by shrugging his shoulders or extending his arm to pull the cable attached to the tendons of the fingers. The prosthetic hand is attached to the prosthesis and the harness that is traditional type that was crea created for Will Hay by a prosthetist. It has a pair of hooks that are held together by a rubber band. While Will Hay can open the pair of hooks for gripping things by pulling on the cable, by shrugging his shoulders, or extending his arm. The hand on Will Hay's prosthesis is an Enable Raptor hand that is normally fitted on a gauntlet strapped to the forearm of a person who has a functional wrist and a hand with the missing fingers. Bending the wrist pulls the strings that flex the fingers for gripping things. With this adapter, the raptor hand can be attached to Will Hay's existing prosthesis using zip ties. The final design will just snap together. Some the same cable on the harness attaches to the hand to actuate the fingers. Will Hay can use the prosthesis with the raptor hand in much the same way that it is used with the gauntlet by a child with missing fingers. Will Hay saw a video of kids using the cool 3D printed hands by Enable, and he wanted a hand. We designed this adapter for the Enable Raptor hand to fit Will Hay's existing prosthesis in a way that it can be taken apart and reassembled by his parents. If there's any problem, then they can put the prosthesis back into its original form. There may come a day when 3D printed hands will become a standard terminal device for prosthetic arms. The design is free and open source and the STL files for Will Hayes Raptor Adapter are available for download on Umagine.com.